you're lying on the table just seconds away from a laser that's going to permanently fix your vision. The surgeon has told you to stare straight ahead at a little light and above all to hold perfectly still. And right then you feel that unmistakable tickle in your nose. You're about to sneeze and your eye is going to move. Is it all over? Well, that moment is probably the number one fear that LASIK patients ask about. They worry that a cough, a sneeze, or even just looking away for a split second could ruin the entire surgery. But the truth is, modern LASIK technology has turned this concern into a complete non-issue. So let's break down the incredible technology that keeps you safe if you move. And we'll do it in plain, simple language, too. It's completely natural to worry about moving during a procedure as precise as LASIK. We're talking about a laser reshaping your eyeballs with microscopic accuracy. But even when you try as hard as you can to stare at one spot, your eyes are never truly still. They're constantly making tiny involuntary movements called saccades all day long to help your brain process images as efficiently as possible. So the idea of holding your eye perfectly still is actually impossible. In the early days of LASIK, back in the 1990s, Surgeons had to rely almost entirely on the patient's ability to hold still. If you moved your eyes too much, the surgeon had to manually stop the laser and start over. And that's the scenario most people still picture today. But that was 30 years ago. Today, the technology has evolved so much that the responsibility isn't on you anymore. Instead, it's handled by a sophisticated, high-speed guardian that watches your eye with superhuman precision. This system is so advanced that all those tiny, natural eye movements don't even matter anymore. Let's explore how it works. To understand how you're protected, we first need to quickly walk through the two main steps of a modern LASIK procedure. At each step, there are safety mechanisms in place for any movement. First is the creation of the corneal flap. This is where the surgeon makes a very thin hinged flap on the surface of your cornea. Decades ago, that was done with an actual blade, but today's gold standard is the femtosecond laser. It's called that because it produces a high energy pulse of light every femtosecond, which is a quadrillion times per second. To keep your eye perfectly stable during this step, a gentle suction cup or ring is placed on the eye. This does two things. It holds the eye steady to prevent large movements, and it serves as an attachment point for the laser, keeping it at the perfect distance to create a smooth flap. This part happens very quickly, but that suction ring is the first layer of defense against movement. The second and most well-known step is reshaping the cornea. After the flap is gently lifted, a different laser, called an eczema laser, removes a microscopic amount of tissue to correct your vision. This is where the real magic happens, and it's also where the most advanced safety feature comes in, the automatic eye tracking system. So what is this eye tracker? Well, imagine trying to write on a piece of paper during an earthquake. It'd be impossible to keep your pen steady and write legibly like that. I mean, I can't write legibly anyway, but an earthquake certainly isn't gonna help. Now imagine that your pen had GPS and that it could feel the tremors and instantly move in the opposite direction, keeping the tip perfectly stable on the paper. That's pretty much what the modern LASIK eye tracker does. This isn't just a simple camera. It's a high-speed infrared system that's locked onto your pupil, measuring its position hundreds and in some cases thousands of times every second. Some trackers can monitor eye movements faster than your eye is physically capable of moving. This system tracks your eye in multiple dimensions, up, down, left, right, and even tiny rotational movements. Each time the eczema laser is about to fire a pulse, it first checks with the tracker. The tracker confirms the eye's exact location and the laser adjusts its aim in milliseconds. If your eye moves, the laser moves with it, ensuring that every single pulse lands exactly where it's supposed to on the microscopic map of your cornea. So what happens if you make a really big movement like a sneeze or a cough? Well, this is where the ultimate failsafe comes in. If the tracker detects a movement that's outside the laser's firing zone, it instantly pauses the laser. The laser just stops and waits. Once you're settled and your eye is back in position, the surgeon allows the laser to resume and it picks up exactly where it left off without missing a beat. There's no damage, no error, and no danger. All right, let's tackle the big three fears head on because the solutions are actually pretty simple. First, blinking. 
This is a big concern for a lot of patients, but it's actually impossible to blink during LASIK. Before the surgery starts, the surgeon gives you some numbing eye drops. These drops not only make the procedure painless, but also lubricate your eyes, greatly reducing your natural urge to blink. But to make absolutely sure, a small instrument called a lid speculum is used to hold your eyelids open. It might sound uncomfortable, but thanks to the numbing drops, you probably won't even feel it. Second, what about a cough or a jolt? Well, as we discussed earlier, the eye tracker is your safety net. A cough might seem fast to you, but to a system that checks your eye's position over a thousand times a second, it's happening in slow motion. The laser will either adjust in real time or simply stop firing if the movement's too big. And third, the dreaded sneeze. A sneeze is a powerful reflex, and it's fair to think it could overpower the system and its safety mechanisms. But even here, you're completely safe. A sneeze often gives you a little warning, but even if it's a total surprise, the outcome is the same. The tracker will see the sudden large movement and just shut off the laser. The surgeon will wait for the sneeze to pass, make sure everything's okay, and then resume the procedure right where it paused. A sneeze might add a couple of seconds to your surgery, but it won't affect the final result. You may have also heard of another popular laser procedure called SMILE, which stands for Small Incision Lenticule Extraction. SMILE is a little different from LASIK because it doesn't create a flap. Instead, a single femtosecond laser creates a small lens-shaped bit of tissue, called a lenticule, inside the cornea, which is then removed through a tiny incision. But because there's no flap, SMILE eliminates any flap-related risks, like infection or dislocation of the flap. This is a great advantage for athletes or people in active or dirty jobs. During the SMILE procedure, a suction ring holds the eye stable, just like it does in LASIK. However, SMILE has a unique, though pretty rare complication called suction loss, where the suction holding the eye can be lost. This can happen for several reasons, including sudden eye movements. But if that occurs, the procedure stops. Depending on when it happens, the surgeon might be able to restart or may need to switch to a different type of laser surgery. While this is a known risk, surgeon expertise and technology make it pretty uncommon. Both LASIK and SMILE have exceptional safety records, and both use technology designed to handle eye movement. With all this talk of incredible technology, it's easy to forget there's still a highly skilled human in charge of this procedure. Your surgeon and their team are watching the laser, the tracker's feedback, and you literally every second of it. You can think of the technology as an incredible safety net, but the surgeon is the one conducting the orchestra. They can often anticipate a movement, offer a reassuring word to keep you calm, and make the final call to pause or resume the laser. It's this combination of advanced automated technology and expert human oversight that makes modern laser vision correction one of the safest and most successful elective procedures in the world. So let's revisit that terrifying moment. You're in the middle of your LASIK procedure and you feel that unstoppable itch in your nose. Your eyes move all over the place and your head shifts uncontrollably through your sneeze attack. And what happens? Literally nothing. The laser, guided by an eye tracker that's faster than your own reflexes, just stops firing. It waits for the moment to pass, and then, with perfect precision, it continues exactly where it left off. I know it's a bit of an anti-climax, but that's the whole point. Through a combination of numbing drops, a speculum that makes blinking impossible, and a super advanced tracking system that follows every tiny movement and shuts down for any big ones, your safety is assured. What was once the single biggest patient fear is now just a 10 second pause in a procedure that can have real life changing benefits. Thanks to this incredible technology, you can lie back, relax, and trust that your vision is in the safest hands possible, both human and robotic. The fear of moving during LASIK is one of the biggest myths about the procedure. But as you now see, the technology has made that fear obsolete. The question is no longer what if I move, but rather, Am I ready for a life without glasses or contacts? If you've been considering LASIK, but this fear has been holding you back, I really hope this has given you the confidence to take the next step. And if you have any questions about how anesthesia or any other surgeries work, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.